Welcome to our latest video. Today we are going to talk about marriage. She doesn't like the topic. Marriage. We are going to talk about being married and staying married and being happily married while you are married. How do you do that? Marriage is probably one of the toughest things an adult can do or commit to. Marriage is about actually becoming one with another human being. Marriage is actually about committing to another human being and saying, I will put up with you, I will hang out with you, and I will try to be your best friend and sexual partner for the rest of your life. For the rest of your life. We live such incredibly long lives. What a massive commitment to make to another person. Why does it go awry so often? I believe that it goes awry so often for a couple different reasons. One, I believe that people expect people to act like them. I believe that people see a situation and they think, okay, this is what I would do. And then when they see their spouse do something different with them, what they would do, they think, oh, well, they did that wrong. They don't know what to do. They're a mess. I know what to do. They don't know what to do. What if your spouse just does it differently than you, but gets a similar or same result? Or what if you don't know everything? What if the way you're going to do it wasn't the right way to do it and your spouse actually did it correctly? Another thing that we do with spouses is we expect too much of them. We expect them to change our lives. We expect them to make us feel good, to make us feel loved. Nobody can make you feel loved but you. Only you can decide, okay, I'm going to accept that love, however it comes to me. Everybody is different. Every individual reacts to things differently and everybody does and feels things differently. So expecting your spouse to do absolutely everything exactly how you would expect them to or what you would do is kind of ludicrous actually. And that's the wonderful thing about your spouse. They actually bring some sort of sensibility that you don't have. Quite possibly you chose that person because they could do something you couldn't do. And now you expect them to be like you or agree with everything you say or do everything that makes you happy. Well, they're not going to. And quite possibly, maybe your spouse is responding to you. Maybe you're sitting there thinking, my spouse doesn't give me enough affection and they don't talk to me enough and they don't love me enough. Are you giving them a reason? <laughs> are you kissable? Do you act as though you are open to their affection no matter when or how or which way that infection comes? Do you make them feel like when they start to talk that you want to listen to what they say and what they say is very, very important to you? Do you take into account all your spouse's needs as much as you take into account your own? And yes, 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 you're going to say that, but actually look at it. Actually look at the way that you are seeing your spouse. It may not even be the way you're treating them, but the way you see them is actually the way they will feel you. If you actually have a feeling inside of you of anger and hate, but you have a great big smile on your face, people aren't going to see your smile as genuine. They're going to see you as scary. <laughs> Because they're going to see you smiling, but they're going to feel something different than the smile. And they're not going to know what to expect out of you. The same thing comes with spouses. If you actually make your spouse feel as though they are not meeting your needs, they won't. And they won't know how to. They won't be able to. If you meet your needs and then expect your spouse to just be the icing on the cake of those needs being met, they can do that. And you can do that for them. You don't want to have to meet their own needs either. You want them to meet their needs. You want to have fun together. That's what marriage is about now. Marriage used to be about property. It used to be about putting kingdoms together, things like that. Then we turned it into marriages about love. And then we turned it into marriages about the convenience of this moment until I can get divorced. What if we just decided to do away with the whole marriage thing, just chose to be together? 
What if you just chose a person and said, I want to have sex with you for the rest of my life. I want to wake up next to you for the rest of my life. And I want to hear that story again and again and again and again for the rest of my life. Because it's so nice to know that you have someone. It's so nice to know that you can be that someone. It's just so nice to do things for each other. So if you're married, put on your spouse's shoes, walk around in them, try to see if you can figure out what makes them tick. Try to look at things in their way, not just in your own. Be a partner, be a loved one, be a good spouse. Marriage is actually kind of worth it because people are worth it. It's part of the bonding of people. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it delighted, I hope that it informed, and I hope you had a good time. I can be reached at trinityyogaandspiritualservices.com. trinityyogaandspiritualservices.com. I am also on Facebook at Bobby Roundtree Spiritual Medium. I am on Instagram at Bobby Roundtree Born Medium. I hope you have a wonderful day. Kiss your spouse. Namaste.